<clears throat> Hello Virgo, welcome to your weekly tarot reading. Hope everybody's happy, healthy, safe, and doing well. And I thank each and every one of you for all your likes, shares, and subscribes. I hope you are happy, healthy, safe, and doing well. And I thank you for all your positive energies and support. I'm truly, truly grateful. And we're going to go ahead and get into your messages. Uh, you got protection, self, personal, set personal boundaries. Okay, now. Virgo. <clears throat> I'm, ge I'm getting an energy of you taking a hit many times for the sake of family or friends or somebody close to you. <clears throat> the message here is talking about needing to set some boundaries for yourself. Boundaries with certain people. I feel like you need to take a stand on something or stand with somebody. It's like enough is enough type of energy. Okay. Get a couple of astrology cards to go with this. Interesting. They wanted three de three piles. Uh, okay, you got the seventh house of relationships. So this is within your personal home. North node. Destined to have. So you are destined to have a secure relationship. As long as you don't stand in the way of spirit trying to do their thing for you. And you've got Neptune. <clears throat> Dreamed or transcend. So if there is a certain type of relationship that you've been dreaming about, trying to manifest, you are doing so. But with that in mind, always still remember that you still have to set boundaries. And I think it involves a certain person you have to set certain boundaries with. Um, it's almost like you're a doormat. You're taking hits for somebody, for the relationship, sacrificing yourself. I will be surprised if I do not see the hanged man in here, your power card. Okay, we're going to get dig into your messages. <clears throat> Show me the messages, please, for Virgo. Messages for Virgo, please. Okay. First card out is you have the King of Wands. You could be dealing with a fire sign. Doesn't have to. This could simply just be your energy of energy being enthusiastic about, about moving forward. The, the King of Wands does not hold back. <clears throat> He's very, very passionate. Um, in control. You know, we go back to this card here. That's talking about your boundaries. Part of that, how, setting those boundaries is, is a sense of control. Okay, not being controlled by somebody else. King of Cups in the reverse. There's a lack of love here. Lack of nurturing. Or somebody... Oh! Somebody may be out of control with their emotions. Is that what this is, Virgo? Are you dealing with somebody that is hot-headed? hot temper. Don't shoot the messenger. Some of the, for some of you, that could actually be you needing to learn to temper that temper. 
tenth. That's a play on words, ain't it? Temper that temper. Wow. Huh. Okay. Uh, balance it out. I think that somebody's pushing your buttons, Leo. Or Leo. Why well, did I, I? I I apologize. I just got done doing Leo. That's why I called you Leo. Virgo. Somebody's pushing your buttons. Justice in the reverse. Ah, we dig deeper here. It's all about lies. You know, justice in the reverse has multiple meanings. Justice itself has multiple meanings. And, you know, I kind of just get... The story that I am weaving here is... Enough is enough. You've had enough. Tempers are flaring. And, and this is about you standing up for yourself, standing up for your rights, and you setting your personal boundaries with somebody in your home, in your relationships. The Dreaming card, the North Node, you know, this can all be in relation to illusions. I just got to put that out there. Okay. Seven of Wands in the reverse. The fight's gone out of you. You're tired of constantly having to defend yourself. Five of Wands in the reverse. You're done fighting with this person. Whoever you are connecting with in your home life. Eight of Wands. You're ready to move on. Ready to move forward. The Eight of Wands is all, also, it talks about travel, movement, communication. Uh, with the Five of Wands, even in the reverse, could actually be the extreme. I'm getting multiple messages here. I'm seeing extreme communications, hot communications, aggressive communications. Fighting and arguing. And you're getting to a point where you're saying this week, I'm done fighting. I'm not fighting with you anymore. You're setting your own personal boundaries. Some of you may even block this person, whoever they are. But it feels directly related to your personal relationships. Okay, let's clarify. This King of Wands. Clarify this King of Wands, please. Clarify this King of Wands. Clarify this King of Wands. King of Wands with the King of Wands. That is telling me there is a power struggle here. Ten of Cups that's upsetting the family dynamics. So yeah. There is no happiness in paradise now, is there? No. It's not happy in paradise. There's a power struggle. And um, the King of Cups, we have Death in Reverse and Justice Upright. You know, this could be a truth that changes everything. Now, death in the reverse is it's it's like a pro it's like a um, it is it's resisting transformation. You're dealing with somebody that doesn't feel that they need to change anything. They're putting it all on you, Virgo. You're the one that has to change, honey. There's nothing wrong with me. I'm right. You're wrong, and your response is. No, honey, you need to change. I'm right, you're wrong. There's a stalemate here. There's a power struggle. And it's like the love between the two of you is like way down. But there's all this passion, this fire energy, but not the fire energy as far. And passion comes in different forms. Um, it's the 
shadowy side of the fire arguing and, and aggression so um so yeah you're arguing and fighting with somebody and i think by the end of the week by the time all is said and done you're just like this ain't worth fighting it's, this is not worth arguing over this is not worth fighting about i'm not doing it anymore i'm not fighting justice with the three of swords it's painful and this is about a deception or a lie that came to light and it's all about dealing with the pain. And I, I get it, Virgo. You're a little bit aggressive. Because this person has pained you. This person has hurt you. This person has... This is an injustice that really hurts. What this is, I do not know. It will be different for each one of you. But justice in the reverse is definitely classic of lies as well. But there's an injustice that really hurt. And I think you are done, 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 done. Okay. Seven of Wands in the reverse. We have the Empress. Okay, so this, you know... This is somebody that does mean something to you. It's important to you. Hierophant, higher level of commitment. This could be a marriage. This could be a spouse. So you were very committed to this person. They, they meant a lot to you. They were very important to you. Okay. You nurtured this situation. You took care of business. You, you, you took care of the household. You were the one that was the provider. You're the one that was the one that's very productive. Getting shit done. And yet, that was what you were fighting for. Fighting for what is best for the family. For the union. They showed resistance. Created a lot of fights and arguments. That's coming to a head this week. You want to end the arguing they want to keep it going and you're just saying I'm done 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 you know it's not you're you're coming to the conclusion that it's a waste of energy to fight with this person I don't want to say giving in to them because I don't see you giving in to them I see you setting up some boundaries Five of Wands in the reverse. Show me it's Five of Wands in the reverse. You got the Tower in the reverse. So I would say that there was a lot of explosive energy. A lot of aggression. Things just totally blowing up. And now you're saying, I'm not fighting with this anymore. Uh, it's time for me to rebuild my foundations. Three of Wands in the reverse. Okay, you're not waiting for them to come on board and get on the same page as you. Um, and it's also not expecting. So the, this situation, you know, when I said about the illusions, that's what I'm getting, that you may have been convinced of a certain ideology of a certain um, idea thought process I think that they told you something and you believed them and you found out that to be a lie and you feel like that you were wrong you were done wrong and it hurt a great deal and that's where all this fighting and bickering they're defending their position. You're defending your position. But the problem is, they're defending a lie. You're defending truth. And they are almost like that. They, it's like this person believes their own lies. That's incredible. No, it's not incredible. I'm not surprised. But this person believes their own lies. That's a big issue.
but you're ending this out of deciding that it's time for me to rebuild. Is it with this person? I do not know because this is only a weekly reading. Check out your September reading. I think there was some hints of this in the September reading. I'm not positive. I usually forget my, what my readings are about because I throw off that energy so I could get ready for the next one. But there's something there about I, I feel very strong there's something in the September reading that is for you. I think it was against your will to want to rebuild because I get the sense that there there is something very a very strong foundation here. As uh, what I mean is by that is a lot of history. There's history here. Okay, and I'm going to draw a couple more cards here. I think your resolve is not to fight anymore. But setting the personal boundaries, I think, is advice. Spirit is saying you need to set some boundaries. Okay, what additional messages? Thank you. Thief. Fuck. What's that thief about? Something stolen. Time stolen. It could be time. It could be money. Did somebody steal something? Excuse me. Did somebody steal something? Journey. False person. Okay, I think that... false person is somebody who's not who they say they are. The way they communicate are all lies. Evident in here. Thief. Stealing something. Journey. Going away. Ah ha ha ha. Okay. We are going to get extremely specific here for a quick minute. Now, this is not for everybody. But someone's going to jail. Someone's going to jail. Somebody who has escaped justice before. Okay. It escaped the arm of the law. But that all of a sudden that arm of the law got extremely long. Someone's gone to jail. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Maybe that's what the argument's about. Maybe they're claiming innocence when they're really not. But to, there is a Virgo that I'm talking to right now. That their partner is going to jail. There's theft involved. Retail theft or something. Theft by deception, retail theft, thieving from somebody else. Potentially hacking somebody's bank account or stealing a debit card or credit card. There's something there that is going to bring up criminal charges and it deals with theft. This deck here, the Kipper deck, is very literal. So, somebody watching this, you're dealing with somebody that's going to jail. That could be why you're no longer fighting with this person. Because they're going to be gone. The not expecting it. Three of wands in the reverse. Not expecting. Upright is waiting, expecting something, looking into the future. In the reverse is not expecting, not waiting, but not expecting with the fucking tower. I don't think you were expecting it, but I don't think you're totally surprised by it either. The tower's coming down, everything's exploding for your person, and it's you are going to be in a place of rebuilding. 
Okay, I am leaving you folks there. Very interesting ending. And I will see you in the next reading. Love and light. Blessed be.